Hey friend, how's it going? It's Katrina here and today I'm going to show you how to create a video from scratch using Adobe Express. Let's get started. All right, so here we are on the homepage of Adobe Express. You can get here by going to adobe.com express if you're seeing this for the first time, never used it before. And another thing to note at the time that I'm filming this, we are on the beta version of Adobe Express. So make sure you are on that version. So first we're going to click on video and then it's going to pull up all of the video projects here and you just got to select one that you are creating so you can make Instagram reels a TikTok, um, a story video let's just go ahead and click on reel we'll be making a simple reel today you can either create from scratch or you can browse through templates if you want but today we are going to start from scratch so we're gonna click on that and then now we are in the editor, yay! So first things first, we have to add our clips. If you can see down here, there's kind of like a little timeline here. It's a little vague on like what to do, but here's, here's what you do. On the first scene right here, we're just going to add a video clip on top. So we're just going to go to media, click on upload from device, and then click on a video that you want to add. So let's just click on this one. So a couple days ago, I filmed in the Adobe Live Studio for the first time and I captured it um, for my stories, but I want to turn it into a cute little reel. So I just put in the video clip right here and as you can see, it just took over the entire scene. You can see there's a button here that says add scene. If you click on it, it pretty much makes a second page. And then from there, you can upload a second video clip. We'll just go down the line here and that's how you pretty much add your video clips. So we have all five of our video clips here and then to zoom in and out of the timeline, there is this notch thingy right here, the slider that will either zoom into the timeline or zoom out. You can also use this menu over here to either fit the timeline on your screen or um, use a percentage. We're gonna start from the top. So we're gonna drag the playhead to the top and see what we're working with. It's definitely a different vibe. Okay. Let me see. This is cool. Okay. Probably would be helpful if I had my headphones in. <laughs> this video clip is a little chaotic. I go like a little it's bit to the left a and a little bit to the right, and like I kind of hate that. So let's go ahead and just scrub through the footage. And then where I'm turning the camera to the right, that's where I want to split the clip. So there's different ways to split a clip. You can right click and hit split. You can also duplicate or delete this clip or you can click these three dots here and you can also, you know, do it this way. Or as you can see, there's keyboard shortcuts. So to split a clip, you just have to hit the S key and then it splits it. And then from there, you can just hover over the clip that you want and then hit delete to get rid of it. So that looks pretty good. And I don't really want the audio of this. You have to click on the canvas itself in order for the refinement panel to pop up. So now that we have these settings here, let's just go ahead and mute this clip because I honestly, <laughs> I don't really like my voice in it. So we're just gonna make that a 0%. You can also adjust the speed ramping of this clip. Um, right now it's set to 100, you can make it 50%, you can speed it up, and you can also adjust the opacity. Right now it's at 100, you can bring it down totally up to you you can apply a blend mode if the video doesn't fit on the canvas like let's say I sh shot it in landscape but I want it to you know cover the entire canvas I would hit fit video you can also flip it um, vertical and horizontal you can even add effects if you want a color grade there are light adjustments that you can do um, to enhance your footage and you can also add animations to the entire footage if you want to trim clips you can definitely do the split method that I showed earlier or you can just hover over the sides and when you see the the edges with the two lines you can just click and drag and then it, you can trim the clip that way. Okay, cool. So this looks pretty good to me. We have all the clips in line. I would want to put this footage of the green room at the very beginning because that's kind of like where the beginning of the studio is. So in order to rearrange clips, all you have to do is just click on this clip right here 
and then drag it to the front. You just make sure that it is lined up. A black line will indicate where you're gonna drop the clip and then just let go. And then the clip is now in the front. So the next thing to do is to add text. So let's go ahead and go into the text panel. We're gonna click on add your text and then a new text box will pop up. So with this, we're just gonna just drag the text to where we want and then we're just going to change it. First time in the Adobe Live Studio. So I know you can't see it right now, but we are just going to select everything using Control A and then we can change the color of the text by clicking this box under fill, clicking white, and then now we're able to see the text. So to change the font of the text, there's a couple different ways you can do it. So there is a recommended box up here where it'll show you um, font recommendations. And then so you can kind of see like a live preview of different fonts that could work well. Um, or you can open this drop down menu right here and then you can choose a font from here. A lot of them are free and some of them are premium if you have the premium subscription to Adobe Express. And then if you have custom fonts in your Creative Cloud libraries, you can also access them as well. And then from there, you can add some effects. If the font allows it, you can bold, italicize, or underline your text. You can also adjust the alignment or add a bullet list. You can also adjust the line and letter spacing and also add text effects, shadows, shapes, or an animation, which we'll get into in a little bit. But let's add a shadow and then we're gonna customize it a little bit by increasing the distance and the angle. And then maybe let's change the color. Let's go to custom. You can choose a custom color this way, or you can add in a hex color code or RGB. Um, and then you can also use the eyedropper tool. All right, so we're gonna edit the text and then we're going to add in an animation. We have a couple different animations here. If you hover over them, it'll show a preview of what the animations will look like. And then you can also adjust the duration with how fast or slow it goes. The personality, like do you want it to go in softly, maybe a bit more smooth. Okay, I think strong definitely looks the best and you can also change the direction in which the animation goes in. And then now let's change the out animation. Let's do slide out. Let's do slide out in the other direction. Same thing strong, 0.5 seconds. So let's say that I want to time the text to go in and out maybe a little bit later in the beginning. So all you have to do is just click on the text or any element that you want to change the timing of. And then you go to show layer timing down here. There's a switch down here. And if you click it, it'll pop up the layer that you have selected. So that's another thing to know when you're working in this timeline is that it doesn't show each individual track because sometimes you know it'll clog up the screen quite a bit it's a it's a little more cluttered so this is just a cleaner way of working with the current element that you selected so like if I deselect the text nothing shows up here but if I select it then the layer pops up and then from there I can just adjust the timing a bit like maybe I'll do this and then I'll like bring it in like so um, and then if this timeline is too small, like I said, you can zoom in by using the slider off to the side so you can get a little bit more precise. There you go. So now when we play it, the text should come in a little bit later. I don't really add like stickers or anything like that. However, for the sake of this tutorial, if that is your jam, you like putting stickers and graphics on top of your videos, here's how to do it. So we're just gonna go into elements and then in here you'll find design assets, backgrounds, shapes, as well as icons. So I really love this blue glowy sphere thingy and so I'm gonna put it here and have it kind of be like a call out and then we're gonna add text to it similar to what we did earlier okay so starting off with the circle here so I want it to like kind of pop up so I'm just gonna click on the circle and then I'm gonna go to animation and then for in I want it to pop like that and then for out we're gonna make it pop out so now that that's set, now we're going to work on the text and then, oh, oh my gosh, I, I really like this font even more than what I picked. 
Um, so for the text, I'm going to do the same pop animation. So we're just going to go to animation, hit pop, and then out, hit pop again. So now we're going to adjust the timing. So for this circle, I want it to be delayed just a little bit. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to make it just shy of when the clip starts. And, and... This is a hack, so because you can't really see the clip side by side, I'm actually going to drag my playhead to where I want the text to be. So once the circle's here, maybe a little second after that, that's when I want the text to appear. So I'm going to leave my playhead there, click on the text, and then see that the layer has changed, and then drag the clip to the playhead. Okay, now this clip, clearly me and my co-host were super nervous about the stream. So let's put in like another different type of element and then maybe like two text box or something like that. Okay, cool. So now we're going to add in some animation for this text, but this time I kind of want them to animate at the same time. So in order to do that, I'm just going to select the first element and then the second one, I just held my shift button and then I clicked on it to um, select both. And then I'm gonna hit group. So now it's grouped. And as you can see, as a group, you can edit the timing on the timeline um, all together. So let's say I wanted to add the same animation. So I kind of want the text to come in here. So I'm just gonna put the playhead kind of where I want it. And then I'm going to select the edges and then drag them in. And then for the ending, let's do maybe a little bit before the clip ends. All right, so that is how you edit multiple elements at the same time as a group. I think we'll do the pop-up thing again and it'll just say my POV. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the previous slide where we had it. I'm gonna select this and then shift click on the circle so that it's both selected. Hit control C so that I can copy it and then drag it on over here. Click on the canvas and then I'm gonna hit control V and then the text and the little shape is over here. My POV. And so let's see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that looks pretty good to me. Now the last thing to do is add music. So we're just going to go ahead and go to media and then under the audio tab, we're just gonna click on that. And then we have a bunch of royalty free tracks here that are sourced from the Adobe stock music collection. And like I said earlier, all of these tracks are completely free to use. They're copyright free, so you can use them in any of your videos without having to worry about getting those copyright strikes. So once you find a track that you like, all you have to do is just click on it and boom, it appears on the timeline and the track will run for as long as the duration of your scene. So it automatically just stops where the end of the video is. Um, but of course, like the other clips, you can easily just hover over the sides and then trim the clips um, as long or as short as you want. If we go to media again, we maybe we wanna bring in another track, you can add in multiple tracks here. And then once you have your music track, you can adjust the volume or mute it all together. You can also upload your own music tracks if you do make your own music or have your favorite website where you source your music. You can also record voiceovers as well. But yeah, so let's just go ahead and test the voiceover. So let's just allow permissions, okay? And then you're gonna see the microphone, make sure it's set to your microphone. And we're just gonna start recording. And, okay. Come with me to the Adobe Live Studio for the very first time. Okay, let's see how that sounds. Come with me to the Adobe Live Studio for the very first time. That sounds pretty good. I am thoroughly impressed. Yeah, so this video looks pretty good. So now all I have to do is just hit download and then download it as an MP4 and then select the resolution. You can export in 720, 1080 or 4K, which is wild and then hit download and then it's just gonna save to our computer and that's pretty much it okay so our video is downloaded so now we're gonna watch it back come with me to the adobe live studio for the very first time 
So the studio is located in San Francisco, California, and is my very first time streaming on Adobe Live from here. Your reels is gonna be me screaming. I love it. But as you can see, it was super easy to get started in creating a video from scratch in Adobe Express. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And if you wanna try out the beta of Adobe Express, all you have to do is go to adobe.com slash express or click the link in the description. I'll leave all the necessary info over there. Um, but with that, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.